In this complete course, you will learn how to code in PHP by coding a number guessing game. PHP is the backend language for 74% of websites. It's easy to try it out on Replit, the sponsor of this video. We'll start a new PHP web server project. I'll run the sample code, and you can see it is rendering the PHP on this website. We'll break up the view, which is the HTML, from the controller, which is the PHP. I'll start by writing the HTML and add most of the PHP afterwards. This number guessing game will have a form with a text box where a player can enter their guess. We can add some PHP code to the HTML with this angle bracket question mark equal sign. We want the starting value of the text box to be the player's previous guess, which we'll get from a variable we'll create later. And I'll make sure to use the, the HTML entities function to convert characters to HTML entities. This just makes it so players can't inject extra HTML into the website. We'll create a hidden input value to pass the number that the player is trying to guess. Later in the PHP code, we'll create a random number that the player has to guess. And since on every guess the player loads this page again, we need to pass the number to be guessed to the next refresh of this page. Now we'll insert some PHP code to display a message to the user about their guess. The message variable comes from the PHP we'll create next, and we can use the echo function to insert HTML with the message. Okay, we can run this to see what the page looks like so far, but we need to add more PHP to make it function correctly. It works out best to put your controller PHP code at the top of your HTML file. We'll create the old guess and message variables, and then check to see if there's already a number in the post request. This would mean that the random number has already been created, so we'll assign the number variable to the number in the post request. Adding plus zero to the end is just a way to convert the value to an integer. If there is no number in the post request, then this is the first time the page is loaded, so we'll need to create a random number between 1 and 100. Now we'll check if there's already a guess in the post request. If so, we'll set the old guess variable to the guess and check if the guess is equal to the number the player is trying to guess. If so, the message will be set to great job. Then we'll check if the program should send the message too low or too high. Now let's test out the game. This is a fun game. You can now put PHP developer on your resume. Thanks for watching.